Hi everybody, today you're looking at a Slime Against Humanity Arcane Bombardment deck, just as a little reward. I finally got a deck that I'm happy with that uses this card that allows you to have any number of cards named Slime Against Humanity in your deck. Uh, we're running about 10 here, but I've seen people go as high as 15. It's a really tricky number to get right, but I'm pretty happy with where we landed here. So we're in three colors. We've got blue, red, and green. Green mostly for the slime, and then blue for some things that help us to mill, as you can see here. So in the early game, we've got Fading Hope and Play With Fire to kind of protect ourselves and then activate Bombardment later on. We've got three copies of Founding at the Third Path here, which is really handy. It mills us, it lets us cast one of our early plays for free, and then it lets us reuse something, whether that's slime, or another one of our cards. We've got three copies of Make Disappear to keep us safe in the early game and then protect our stuff once we kind of get going. Three copies of Flotsam and Jetsam, quickly becoming one of my new favorite cards for Bombardment. Uh, getting to cast Jetsam for free is just super fun. I always love using our opponent's cards against them, and this just does a great job of that. Of course, 10 copies of Slime Against Humanity just gets bigger the more copies we have in our graveyard and in exile. One copy of C double just for utility to see if we can copy some things. Four big score to get more things in the graveyard, draw cards, and get some extra treasures. Ill-Timed Explosion, a nice cheap board wipe that kind of accomplishes all of our goals in one, lets us put some things in the graveyard, really nice in here. Four copies of Arcane Bombardment, going with this over one of Chandra and three Bombardment because we really want to be pulling stuff out of the graveyard, and Slime really doesn't care where the copy is, as long as it's in Exile or the graveyard, it counts toward the Slime number. Switching over to the normal view for a second, you can kind of get a sense of the mana curve. I always like to look at decks this way just to kind of wrap my brain around the turn order, how things are kind of going to go, what you're going to be doing in the first few turns of the game, and kind of what you're aiming for once you get some mana going. So is this a top tier deck? Well, absolutely not, but I had a good time with it nonetheless. Finally landed on a number of slimes against humanity that I'm happy with, and you can get some fun play patterns out of this deck. So let's go see a few games with it over on the rank standard ladder. All right, let's get started. Can't keep that. Tired of keeping two landers. Let's go with this. Time to go on a news cruise. Opponent getting a raptor dropped in here. There we go. Jungle Hollow. So a black and green opponent. Ops for the other tap land. I normally don't play Make, make Disappear in decks with arcane bombardment, but sometimes you just need it. Opponent starts off with Rubble Belt Maverick. I played that card in draft. Probably foolishly. It was okay. Definitely not a draft maven over here. Bramble familiar from the opponent. Going for a little bit of ramp. Let's hit that with play with fire. Don't want our opponent to get too far ahead as we hit turn four and we are ready with the big score. I will say I do love the process of drafting. I think drafting is one of my favorite kind of overarching game archetypes, even outside of magic. Opponent with the one drop army here. Willowgeist and Death Bonnet Sprout. So we're probably going to see some graveyard things. Let's go big score. Uh, what was I saying? Drafting. Love the process. Terrible in the execution. I can't, <laughs> I'm terrible at drafting. I have so much fun drafting, and then when it comes to playing the game, not good at all. Well, we found our slimes, and we found Flotsam and Jetsam. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Insidious Roots. Whenever a creature cards leave your graveyard. No, I don't think so. <laughs> that sounds too good. Let's make disappear that. Opponent attacks with the army of 1-1s. One drops us to 15. Let's go land. Tell you what. Let's get Bombardment down. So if they remove it, which they probably can in those colors... That's fine, we can still start sliming. If they can't... Good gracious, look at this! Icker Drinker, Icker Drinker. The Mushroom is now a Hulk, we are at 10. 
Let's use slime against humanity then. Make a slime. Pick up a big score out of the grave. We'll discard Shiv and Reef to that. Get a founding and play with fire. So that leaves Flotsam and play with fire as our instance for the next turn. That means we can afford another slime against humanity. Get that down in the graveyard and just make some bigger oozes. We're trying to out ooze our opponent. Opponent manages to transform another mushroom. So we've got... Hold on. Seed of Hope. That's actually really good for our opponent's deck. And Willow Geist activating here. Tell you what, let's do Play With Fire on the Geist. Activate Bombardment. Pick up another big score. I was hoping to pick up an ooze there, but that's fine. So we'll do we'll do both of those. Get an ill-timed explosion. Geist is down, opponent gains a tiny bit of life. Just continuing to lay down the tiny creature army. And incubates with one of the Icker drinkers from the grave. Really glad we countered that insidious roots. All right, well, I think what we can do here is a little creative explosioning. Make disappear the pickup. I'm trying to pick up oozes, game. All right, let's big score a little more. They haven't removed bombardment yet, so I think we can remove this one from our hand and we draw another one. No problem. Okay, ill-timed explosion. We have the option to discard. Could just wipe everything. I mean, we're honestly in the better position to recover, aren't we? Now let's discard this instead. So we'll lose one slime, they lose their whole board, we'll keep the four one. We'll get in for four. Let's play land. Let's go second bombardment. Look, all you commenters, I do play multiple bombardments sometimes. When I have nine extra mana. Oh, an opponent scoops it up. Good game. All right, we've got a slime. We've got founding to make it big. Let's give it a shot. Man, these, these raptors are a little disconcerting. All right, opponent's starting off with recruitment officer. We're going to start off with founding the third path. So we want to mill. Let's just start on chapter one, though. I'm not going to cast Make Disappear. I would love to be able to cast, or recast, rather, Slime Against Humanity. But I kind of feel like I want to delay it a turn. I don't know. Maybe that's crazy. So yes, let's mill ourselves now. Okay, we hit one Slime off of that. Let's... Let's pass. So sliming just gets us a 3-3. Yes, let's counter this. I wanted to see what they were doing next. This is definitely worth holding up a make disappear. That would just get a get the bunny corn out of control, especially when we don't really have a good answer for it. Let's cast this slime from the grave. Alright, play another land. So that means next turn we can Flotsam and Slime again. Harbin from the opponent. Our, uh, hmm. Are Soldier's decks playing Regal Bunnycorn these days? I guess they are. Yeah, let's Slime here. Oh, opponent with the make disappear for us sacrifices the officer. Yeah, no, that that works. That works. We'll decline just in case we see a need to flotsam. Opponent with secluded courtyard on human. A 
connects us with Harbin finally. Okay. And passes. All right. Well, this could be a good window. Let's play Arcane Bombardment here. Oh, do they have to get lost for it? Don't don't touch that. Nope, just keep it keep it in your hand. Okay, Otawara. It's bad, but it's not terrible. Alright, I think no attacks here. We've kind of kept the bunny corn at bay. Oh no. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. Second bunny corn comes down. Doesn't want to trade with our ooze, so Harbin knocks us down to eight with that attack. Well, we could slime, but that doesn't help us too much. Let's go bombardment instead. And yeah, we'll just we'll just hold it back. If we need to chump with the slime, that's fine. Opponent gets land. Soldiers get plus one. Ugh. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, if opponent attacked all that, we would have dropped to one there. Let's use slime to activate bombardment. It's a sorcery, so we have to kind of do it now. <laughs> Make disappear is the pickup. Terrible. Terrible. Okay. Well, we've got slimes down there. One, two. Let's go demolition field, and I want to hit beachhead. So if the opponent doesn't have removal, we can block both bunnies and survive the Harbin attack. Uh, yes, take island. And this will allow us to flotsam. Activate bombardment. Maybe counter something. Opponent with the all-out attack. Let's go flotsam. Just in case we get something out of the graveyard that can help us with this. Opponent with reinforcements. That's going to pump up the bunnies. Okay, let's play slime. Lots of mills. Just a fading hope, it looks like. Okay, let's block one there. And let's block two there. Okay, no tricks. Both bunny corns down. We're at one. A solitary slime on board. We have no spells. Let's crack this clue. Oh, big score. Oh, so happy to see you. Let's... Let's big score right away. Discard this land. Ooh, we pick up Flotsam and Jetsam and Slime. Well, we're definitely sliming. Let's Jetsam our opponent. Hmm. Bunnycorn Officer, Wedding Announcement, Lunark Veteran. Okay, we're taking Veteran, and let me tell you why. If we're going to start producing slimes, Veteran could get us enough cushion to stay in this game if the opponent tries to go wider than we are. And we've got an instant here to do it again on our opponent's turn. Just coming over with Harbin. All right, I don't think that's going to be enough. Let's see if we can make some slimes. Bombardment picks up a second Jetsam. All right, well, we know we want a slime. Let's go Jetsam, double Jetsam. Pass on that. Ooh. Well, I think we're going to take reinforcements for the life gain trigger then. So that's two more life. Boop, boop. Second Jetsam. Kind of want to take Bunny Corn. I think we're, we're kind of turning into the token deck now. Our bunny corn is 10 10. Well, we definitely have enough life to survive this attack from Harbin. We've got several trampling oozes. I kind of just. Let's see. I mean, yeah, between the bunny corn and the slimes. I think this is more of a math is for blockers moment. Alright, they're blocking the veteran. I kind of want to do a spell now just to squeeze a little more life gain out of it. I don't know if we actually have lethal here, even if I play with Fire the Face. 
Let's see. Yeah, just in case they've got a combat trick, let's take care of Harbin with the play with fire. We got Fading Hope. Let's do that on the... Yeah, the token, because otherwise they can just flash back the reinforcements immediately. We know we're going to jets them a couple of times. All right. What do we think? Wedding announcement or bunny corn? I think it's bunny corn. Trigger the veteran a little bit more. Especially since there is a hasty creature down there. Let's take the wedding announcement with that one. Another veteran trigger. Bombardment on the top. No, we kind of need a spell. An opponent just scoops it right up. Good game. All right. We've got some lands. Let's do it. It is slime time. You've heard of prime time. Now time for its slightly worse cousin, slime time. Opponent with the interesting name, communing with the spirits, pulls out a land, likely a green-white enchantment's opponent. We're going to lay down founding the third path. We're going to start at one. And we are going to flotsam. Just to get some extra mill. So we will have milled seven cards. Oh, and we did hit a slime with that. Fantastic. Opponent with the Neshoba Brawler. Is this an aggressive domain deck? We will target ourselves with the mill. Oh, no more slimes. All right. Well, nothing else to do. Let's slime. It will at least trade with this Brawler if they decide to attack. Opponent just naturally drawing all of the basic lands. Love that for you. Very fortunate. Definitely trade with that Neshoba Brawler. Case file auditor from the opponent, though. Oh, gets Leyline of the Guild Pact. All right. Well, I'm kind of interested to see what you do with that, but in the meantime, I think we just slime again. Slime again. Let's see, four four slime. We will auto pay for that. It's kind of unfortunate because I would have loved to keep up make disappear here. with a Jukai Naturalist. All right, so no fourth land for the Ley Line. Interesting deck so far. Let's attack. I doubt they're going to block. At least these slimes have trample. If they did not, that would feel so much worse. Let's get down land number five. We could do Make Disappear and Crack the Clue. We could just Big Score. Opponent with the Unfortunate Tap Land. Attacks with the Naturalist. Gains a couple of life. Oh, Case of the Locked Hothouse. Alright, I've seen I've seen this before. That's fine. Let's let's pitch the reef to big score. Oh, there's bombardment. Okay, cool. I think we've got an uh, interesting situation now. Let's play boom. Mm -hmm. Let's attack first just in case they want to make any poor choices. All right, we get in for four. Let's play out Bombardment. <clears throat> All right, sorry about that. Had to switch a setting. My very kind neighbor has decided to leaf blow everything, like everything right now. Okay. All right, can we get him? Opponent's got the ley line binding. We've got a token. Let's save bombardment, or at least attempt to, by sacrificing the ooze to double up, make disappear. Yes, we will target binding. Excellent. Oh, and we pick up a slime. Nice free replacement slime. All right, glad we hung on to the make, that make disappear. Let's crack this clue. 
And let's go let's go on the attack. I kind of feel like we are we are the aggressive one here. Let's keep up our meager advantage. Now that we are shields down to this ley line and whatever they're gonna do with that. Opponent attacks for three. Drops us to 12. There's the ley line. All right. Let's go play with fire in response and see if bombardment picks up anything. Uh, it does not. All right. Well, we get a slime and we do get a jetsam, which is nothing to sneeze at. Ooh. A calyx would have been great. Oh, opponent <laughs> scoops it up. Good game. Hmm. All right. We can keep this... Only because we have a fading hope. Ugh, we can possibly scry into land number three. Oh, let's play Rockfall Veil vale first, though, because then we can keep up Make Disappear if we draw something. Opponent with the Gala Greeters to start us off. There's a land. It's all fine. Let's play Shivan Reef. And yeah, we can, we can just pass. I don't think we need Fading Hope this. Although we could see an extra land. I don't know. Opponent with red, too. What is happening? Ginny Fay. No, thank you. That's going to get out of hand fast. Gallic Reader is just going to start pumping out animal tokens instead of treasures. All right. Land number three. I think... Mm. Yeah, let's go Fading Hope on the Greeters. Slow them down just a little bit. Ill-timed explosion to the bottom. Really hoping for a land so that we can get to big score and up to bombardment and start re-sliming all over the place. Hmm. Opponent with a Thalia. And a Greeters. All right, let's go play with fire on Thalia then. This deck's pretty much all spells. There's land number four. Pass it on back. Opponent's sporting the Murex now. Second greeters. Makes a treasure. Screlves Hive. Alright, Naya Tokens. Definitely, it's definitely got the cards for it. Those colors... Um, let's big score here. I'll discard slime. Slime, slime, slime. If only three of a kind was worth something. Let's go bombardment then. They're down to one card. We're kind of playing the odds that they don't have removal and that they're just focused on making tokens. Let's see what we do here. Gain some life. Roaming Throne. Name's Elf, so that means the Greeters are all going to go off twice. That's that's pretty nice, opponent. All right, Greeters knock us down to 12. Let's go Ill-Timed Explosion. Fading Hope is the pickup probably the worst thing. Let's decline that. We're planning on wiping this board anyway. We'll discard Mountain and Big Score. As much as that hurts, it is kind of the perfect size for what we need to do. Now let's, let's get a slime down there too, actually. Okay, board successfully wiped. Still got a Screlves Hive to deal with, and we're just fighting with slimes at this point. Jetmir, uh-oh. And resolute reinforcements. This could get out of hand fast. To quote Ron Burgundy. Um, hmm. If we slime now, we've got no instant for the opponent's turn, but I think it's worth it. We pick up slime. Let's go fading hope. On the little soldier token. Put that land to the bottom. All right. Double slimes is fine. I don't know. Probably not ideal. 
We can maybe demolition field this Murex with the mana we've got left. Oh, Adeline, that's even worse. Our other option was to big score away a slime and see if we could draw an instant for our opponent's turn. Oh, wow. Opponent has pumped everything up. Looks a little hesitant to attack, though. Keeping Jetmir back, because he kind of enables all this madness. Let's block the two three ones. One of them's going to get through. Dropping to nine. Okay, we're going to Demolition Field the Murex. we got to pull up this board wipe, and that's one way they're going to be able to come back from that. But we got to get there first. Ooh, Flotsam and Jetsam. Okay. Let's slime. Okay. Let's go play with fire on one of the mites. Fading hope on a citizen or human. Another slime. Mm, yeah, let's keep slime. Why not? And play with fire goes off. All right, so we got four slimes on the board. Four oozes. I think we can attack safely, actually. All right, we drop our opponent to 13. This could be a close one. So Skrelv's Hive is going to make a Mite. We've got Flotsam as our instant for this turn. Animpakal, Thousandth Moon. That's not great either. Okay, sends in Jetmir. I guess willing to make the trade? Or maybe they think they can finish us off with all this trample damage. All right. I guess in response to the Pakal trigger, let's do Flotsam. All right. Big score. Let, what? <laughs> Did opponent realize we had oozes? Good game. All right. Let's not keep that two lander. This one looks a little better. Yeah, let's toss back, make disappear. Kind of want to be founding on turn two. Oh, but we don't draw the untapped land. Start off with the storm carved coast. Pass it on back. Opponent plays with fire our face for the scry. Puts one on the bottom. We draw slime. Oh, untapped land would have been fantastic there. That's okay. Oh, lightning strike. All right. So I think if this is burn, yeah, there's a the Chandra. Our challenge may be creating slimes that are big enough to withstand the burn removal. As our opponent quickly drops us to 12 with all of these burn spells. We could go founding, that may be too slow. I think we have to try. Let's start off. And we can Flotsam. Putting a slime in the grave. Alright, that at least makes them a little bigger. They're safe from play with fire now. This is a fun idea. Opponent with a spell spear. Great in a spell heavy deck if you can keep it alive. Let's mill ourselves. Okay, there's another ooze and a couple of other spells. I think we're going to go with the slime here. Like The sooner we can get these slimes big, I think the more secure we're going to be. Especially now that we know our opponent's got creatures. Chandra pings us for one. Give a toast? <laughs> I'd love to. Spell spear on the attack. Yeah, I think we got a block. We'll take the bait. Ouch. Lightning strike. Well, at least they trade. He tramples over for a bit of extra damage. And the backup spell spear. Hmm. Well, the spell spear is a 2-2. Two -two. Let's go play with fire. Yep, we will zap that little guy. And that will also leave us enough mana to at least slime against humanity. So 5-5, five, five, definitely harder for the red deck to get through. Exiles off the top. 
What is that? Sawblade Scamp. Okay, passes it over. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it gets an oil counter. Remove an oil counter to do a damage. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is risky. We gotta get Chandra out of here, though. They're down to one card, and the fewer cards they see, the better. Let's go big score. Discarding big score. Okay, that's good. Drop the mountain. We get a make disappear and a bombardment off the top. Opponent's got so much mana, though, I'm not sure this make disappear is going to be too relevant. Could be, like, the last spell we cast as they try to burn us out. All right, plays Kumano off the top. One counter on the Scamp. The scamp hits us down to seven. Do we draw? Now let's just take the turn. All right, ill-timed explosion. Now let's just, let's get the bombardment down and kind of chance that this ooze is enough to, well, or do they even have enough to finish us? Yeah, let's go, let's attack Chandra. Chandra's going to let them see an extra card, which I don't think we can let them have. So Kumano's going to give something a counter. That's if they drew a creature. Mountain, uh, back up Chandra. Of course they got it, nice. Chandra just gives them a mountain off the top, that's good luck. Just attacks us for one there, okay. Alright, that was the right call. Let's attack this Chandra down. Now, we've got to deal with... At least two hasty creatures coming in. Let's go ill-timed explosion. Ooh, flotsam and jetsam. Let's do that. Okay, and what do we want? You know, there's a bunch of burn here. They've got the sawblade scamp. Let's go Lightning Strike on the Scamp. Since if we get into a stalemate scenario, they could kind of repeatedly use that. Ill-timed Explosion going to draw. I think that's fine for now. And then we can make disappear pretty much anything here and get the Bombardment activation. Electrostatic Infantry. All right. So we were safe from Lightning Strike there, but we can't... We can't actually counter this. This is just for the trigger. Slime. And we'll go Flotsam and Jetsam again. All right. Well, I think I know what we're going to do here. Kenra Spell Spear. Opponent's out of cards. We know it's safe. Opponent pays the two. Okay. What does this cost? Three and a blue. I think we can, I think we can do this. Let's transform it. Not paying the life. Let's play Slime. Prowess, Prowess. Let's go. Let's see, how do we want to order this? We pick up Ill-Timed Explosions, so I think we want that towards the end. Let's go Jetsam, Slime, Explosion. Prowess, 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 prowess. That's what, six prowess triggers? Discard two. I think we do. Let's get rid of make disappear and a land. That will wipe the opponent's board, but leave all of our stuff. Excellent. Slime. Jetsam. Let's take... Lightning Strike. That'll be two more prowess triggers on the spell spear. Opponent down to 17, and I'm no math whiz, but that should be enough. <laughs> Good game.